My mother uh, started with beagles back in the late 50s, and so I've been brought up with them. I find them a charming little breed, and um, you can take them anywhere. Very much friends with everybody, and friends with all dogdom as well. They're a good all-round little dog. They really are a genuine, level-headed, sensible little dog. They've got a very even temperament. Um, they're easy, you know, they are clean little dogs in the house. Once it's integrated into your family, it becomes part of your family very quickly, whether there's one of you or several of you. They're great fun dogs and they do usually enjoy the company of other dogs. We would often rehome them with another dog because they do like that dog company. I've had families have puppies um, that have got sort of four or five children and I've had old age pensioners buy them and individual people and as long as they can have them perhaps nowadays they can take them into work with them or they're self-employed and they take them around that suits a beagle equally as well you know they're quite happy to toddle along with you and go to work. Because they are a hunting breed they use their noses to smell with and of course that's the first thing they do. Beagle is a scent hound. So the archetypal picture of a beagle is nose down, bottom up, following a track. So when you're thinking about training them, you want to be doing recall, then more recall, and then even more recall. You need to get past the fact that the nose is the most important thing, you're the most important thing. Therefore, really early, 12 weeks, 14 weeks, when they're fully injected, get them off the lead and they must learn that you are taking them for a walk, not the other way around. I would give serious consideration to having them on a harness and a long line. A beagle's idea of being close to you can be a huge distance away and if you let a beagle off it may well find a track to follow for a long period of time. They're not a breed that you can get after and get really cross with because they get a bit wimpish then but they're certainly a breed that you can be firm with but just fair. Properly trained you can let them off the lead so you can take them for normal walks and uh, enjoy the dog um, and you know they're very much part of the family. They are a short-coated breed, so a good stiff brush once or twice a week is usually sufficient. And of course they do lose their coat like any other breed does, or the majority do, uh, probably twice a year, autumn and spring, so a little bit more attention to with the brush then and that's all you need. Fortunately for this breed there are very few health issues. Um, other than ordinary ones that older dogs may have. Um, this particular breed has recently been discovered with a problem which we've called MLS syndrome. Uh, now we are all testing for that and it's a recessive gene so you have to have two carriers to make an affected and over time the, the next few years this will disappear altogether. Generally they are a very healthy little dog.